guys and welcome back to my channel so i just want to start off by saying sorry if the lighting goes a little bit funny throughout this video it is a really really beautiful day outside but the sun keeps going in and out from behind the clouds i'm using a mixture of natural uh, lighting and my ring lights so i apologize if it goes a little bit funny <laughs> throughout this video so as you guys can see by the title of this video this is going to be another thrift haul and i am so so excited for this video i feel like to be honest this is probably one of the best thrift hauls that i've done not because of brands but because of the variety that i've been able to find like i've got some clothing i've got some homewares i've got some books i've got some games i've got a bag the only thing i don't really have is shoes everything else i've got a decent amount of so i'm so excited obviously with the clothing as well i will try everything on for you guys as well so you can see how it all looks on and i'm gonna kind of title this as like a spring thrift haul because we are going into spring we might even already be in spring and i believe this is a mixture of stuff that i have found while i have been away in hawks bay but some of it has been up here in auckland as well and one of these items i have also found on facebook marketplace so it's going to be a good variety so yeah without further ado let's jump into this haul where do i want to start i might start off with books because I feel like some people care about that, some people don't. So if we just get it out of the way. I am also going to be looking at my phone for prices and where I found everything. The first book that I have to show you guys, I was so excited to find. Um, this op shop was the Dove Hospice in Newmarket. And Phil and I were actually going to the mall. But this op shop is like on the way to the mall. And I don't usually op shop in Newmarket because it's quite pricey and I don't really like to spend a lot on things. This book, I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot leave without buying it. And it is this one here. So this is Hollow City, which is the second novel after Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Now, I finished reading that book a couple weeks ago and I thought thoroughly enjoyed it like probably one of my most favorite books of all time so when i found that it was a trilogy i was like oh my gosh i need the next book like asap so it is ransom riggs that writes these books um i am currently on the lookout for the third book as well which i can't remember what it's called but i really like this i think he's a really really clever writer because all of these photos and stuff that are in the book are real photos and he's kind of crafted the stories to go along with the photos, which I think is very, very clever. And you do have to be a really talented writer to be able to do that. This is the book that I'm actually currently reading at the moment. I am halfway through chapter two at the moment, so I haven't really read too much of it. But like, I'm so excited to read this. This was $9. Um, they had the first and the second one in the op shop, but not the third. If they'd had the third probably would have bought it as well so the next two books i found whilst i was in hawks bay so i found them in the salvation army in napier so the first one out of the two is this one here now this one is the last anniversary by leanne moriarty now i have read big little lies by leanne moriarty and i thoroughly enjoyed it so i thought i would give this one a go as well i don't really know too much about it i haven't heard too much about it i don't think but this one was only four dollars and yeah i just thought i'll give it a go if i don't like it i'll just redonate it back to charity and then the last book that i found in the um salvation army in napier is this one so this one is trinkets and it is written by kirsten smith now phil and i watched this tv show i have actually recommended it in a previous current favorites before it is on netflix and we thoroughly enjoyed the tv show so when i saw that it was a book i was like oh yeah i'll give it a go and i'll read it again if i don't like it i'll just redonate it to charity it was two dollars so i thought you can't really go wrong um, and i think phil actually found this for me so this next book is actually the most recent thing that i have found in the op shop so i found this book last week with phil and it is this one here so this one is silence by becca fitzpatrick this is part of the hush hush series i have the first book this is the third book so i just need the one in the middle which i think is called crusade 
Crescendo. Sorry, I was close. So I thought I would grab it and then I'm going to look out for the second book. This one I found in the Albany Hospice. I, I'm pretty sure it's the Albany Hospice or it's the Glenfield Hospice. But when I googled, it pretty much takes you to the same place. So it's quite big. Like the store has to be split into two because it's quite big. And they have a really, really good book section. So Phil found a couple other books. And then another book that I'm about to show you. And we got all four of the books for three dollars $3.50. But yeah, I haven't read the first book yet, um, but I have read Black Ice by Becca Fitzpatrick and it is one of my most favourite books of all time. So the next book that we kind of got in the same um, $3.50 deal from the hospice is this one. So Phil and I received the like bigger book version as one of our wedding presents. But when I saw this little binder one, I thought we would just grab it. This is The Five Love Languages, The Secret to Love That Lasts by Gary Chapman. So this is very similar to the Marriage Blessings one that we have. Um, it is a Christian daily words of affirmation type thing. It has got like questions and then it's got like Bible verses as well. If you guys don't know by the way, my husband and I are both Christians so it's got things about marriage as well. So there's like lots of different things in here. So I just thought it would be a really, really nice thing to kind of go through on a daily basis. The next book that I found is very similar to that book. And that is this one. So this one is You'll Get Through This by Max Licardo. Hope and help for your tur tur turbulent turbulent times. So again, this is a Christian one. Um, again, it's the spiraled thing. It's the same with the marriage blessings. They're like a um, spiraled one as well. And again, it's got like daily things. So it either tells you a little bit about God or I'm guessing, yeah, it has Bible verses in here as well. So I just thought this would be really good, um, especially if Phil and I are going through something rough that we'll be able to just pull this out, find some comfort um, from this little book. This one was only a dollar from the Cranford in Napier as well. I love the Cranford Hospice in Napier. I always find so many good things in there. The last book that I have to show you guys is probably, apart from the Miss Peregrine's second novel, is probably the one I'm excited for the most. And that is this one here. So this one is my first Bible stories. Now these books are really hard to come across, but I found this for a dollar. A dollar, guys, in the Habitat for Humanity in Panmure. Again, I love that op shop. There's a few things in this haul from there. And I just think the graphics in this are absolutely stunning. Like, look at this. This is so cute. Um, and for those of you that don't know, I serve in preschool at my church on Sunday mornings. And I was able to use this book with the kids which was so exciting um we went through daniel in the lion's den so this was the one i was able to pull out to show the kids and explain to them which i just thought was great and it's kind of got like all the main stories like all the main bible stories so you've got the old testament here so i will pull it up and you guys can pause the screen if you want to read some of the stories from there and then it's also got the new testament I just think is really cute. So again, um, you guys can pause the screen if you want to read what's in them, but I just thought this would be fantastic for when Phil and I have kids and we want to teach them about God and people in the Bible. Like, oh, look how cute this is with the ark. I'm not pregnant. I just want to preface that. Phil and I aren't trying as of yet, but I am starting to look through the kids section just in case kind of put like a few bits and pieces aside. Alrighty, next up we might do some games. So we'll start off with some puzzles. So I bought two Christmas puzzles, which is super duper exciting. I am starting to slowly prep for Christmas. October is like the month that I really start prepping. Um, Phil and I are hosting Christmas as well this year. So I do actually have one other Christmas puzzle, but I thought we can kind of choose what one we want to do and then we can tackle it as a family because we have, obviously Phil and I, 
we have my mum, my dad, my two sisters, my sister's boyfriend, and both my stepmother and father-in-law coming for Christmas. So there's going to be a lot of us. So hopefully we can tackle some of these puzzles. This one is the Tis the Season, which I love the graphics on this. I'm pretty sure this is from Paper Plus because I've wanted to buy it in Paper Plus before and I haven't. Um, and then we also have this one, which is one of the more classic ones, the Christmas Stories one. The artist is Tom Browning. Oh, it says it's made exclusively for for Whitcalls. They are both 1000 piece puzzles. Yeah, this one I'm guessing is brand new because it's still got everything in it that you need. I don't know if all the pieces are in the other one. I was not about to sit there in the op shop and count them all. I have one other Christmas puzzle that's actually in the same series as this. So that's what made me want to buy them. But I'm definitely set now on Christmas puzzles. I do not need any more. And these ones were both from the same op shop. They were $2 each from the Dove Hospice in Glenninus which is East Auckland and again I love that hospice I've got a few pieces in this haul from that hospice as well and then the next game that I found I also found in that same op shop and again it was two dollars and that is this this is the game of life empire now I have never ever seen this before so that's originally what made me want to buy this but you have like different little cars and stuff that you can put things in pretty much the game of life but with a slight twist which I thought was real cool. The board is different as well, which is awesome. And I just honestly was like, if I don't buy this, I am never ever going to see this again. I sat in the store and I opened the box and I sat there counting all the cards, checking everything. The instructions were in here as well, which is usually a good sign if the instructions are in with the game. Usually it means the people that had it before took good care of it. There's only a couple things that were missing, but they're nothing too crazy. And if Phil and I got really desperate, we can actually make them ourselves because it's just little like cardboard things with like a little picture on it how cool like when are you ever gonna see this again like never and then the last game is a monopoly are we surprised probably not if you guys have been on my channel for a while then you guys will know that it is one of my goals in life to own a monopoly collection I'm doing very well at the moment. We always get compliments when we come into our flat and comments about how many Monopolies we have. And this one, I just thought we would add into our collection. It is the Monopoly Avengers game. So you get to play as Avengers, which I think is really, really cool. The main thing that made me want to buy this is the board because the board is circular which is so cool it's very different from any other monopoly game that i've played and it's a lot quicker as well because once all of the properties are taken the game's over and it's really really fun we actually had a games night with the people that live upstairs and we brought this up and everyone had so much fun playing this so this was great this i found in the salvation army in napier it was ten dollars so phil and i were kind of umming and ahhing about it for a while but then when Phil noticed that the board was circular, he was like, oh yeah, let's grab it. And Phil is a massive Marvel fan as well. And I'm so happy we grabbed it. We sat there in the store and we checked in all the pieces were there as well as the instructions. So I feel like we really, really lucked out with that one there. All right, I might do the homeware items next. So I have two homeware items to show you guys. The first homeware item that I have is just this really, really nice pink bowl. So I think it was in one of my previous thrift hauls. I actually bought two of these bowls in the op shop and I really wanted to find some more. And then when Phil and I went back to Hawke's Bay the previous time, I found another one. So I thought I would grab it and add it into to our collection. So these ones are just the Living & Co bowls. They are microwave and dishwasher safe. I really, really love this pale pink color and pink is one of the colors that we have introduced into our kitchen. So I thought it was great. These bowls are perfect for yogurt. I love having yogurt in these or ice cream as well. And this one was only a dollar from the Salvos. So now we have three of these. If I saw more of them in the op shop too, I would buy them. But yeah, I'm happy that we now have like a little mini set as well. The last homeware item is one that we found on Facebook Marketplace. Now I just want to pre-warn you this 
was the splurge purchase that Phil and I made. We bought some Smeg knives. So for those of you that don't know, Phil and I um, were collecting the Smeg knives when New World was doing the little thing at Christmas time. So if you haven't watched my Vlogmas video where I explain that, I will link it down below and I will leave it in the eye because we started off with the knife block and then there were six knives that you had to collect to fill up the block. So Phil and I got three of them and we still needed three to go. We put them on our wedding registry but they are quite hard to find so we didn't end up getting them in our wedding registry and these were the three that we needed. So we went on Facebook marketplace and we found someone who was selling the entire set and usually the sets on Facebook marketplace are so expensive like usually they're like $800 for the whole set or like $500 and that is just way too much money but Phil and I found someone on Facebook marketplace who was selling the set for $250 so obviously we do already have three of them at the moment but I messaged one of my friends who is actually my bible study leader because she was collecting the knives as well and she basically got the smaller knives and we got the bigger knives so pretty much the ones that both of us don't have are the ones that the other person does. And she cooks us dinner every Wednesday night that she has done for like the whole year. And so Phil and I thought we would buy them and we would just gift the ones that she doesn't have to her as like a little thank you for all that you do for us. And then we would keep the ones that we needed to complete our set. And I am so excited to have the set. These knives are fantastic like they cut things so well and it's really nice to have like a full set now. I did go and pick these up. These were actually really really close to my home as well which was great. So I'll go through what knives we picked up to complete the set. So we have the Santuk knife, the chef knife and the meat knife. So the ones that we needed were the bread knife, the veggie knife, which is so cute. These are German steel as well, by the way. And the utility knife. So now we have the whole set and I am so excited. I have literally waited like three, two years. Just for reference, by the way, one of the knives, like the smallest knife, like this one, I think if you buy it brand new, goes for like $60. And some of the bigger ones can be like over a hundred dollars. Now I will move on to accessories. So I just have one bag to show you guys and that is this little guess kind of clutchy bag type situation. So it does have a little hand strap which is super duper cute and then this is the print here. So it's just got the classic guess print and then it says guess across here. It is peeling a little bit ever so slightly on this little locket, but I could easily just glue it back down. I do have a bag that matches this print here, but I'm actually gonna gift it to Rachel because I just won't use it. Again, I found that in an op shop as well. And then it's just like a little, little clutchy thing, which is super cute. And this was only a dollar from the St. Vinnie's in Napier. So I just thought it was too good of a deal to leave behind. And now we move on to all the clothing. So this is the last category that I have to show you guys. So I'm going to do this in categories. So let's start with tops. So the first top that I found is this one, which I just thought was a really, really cool graphic tee. So it's like a black top and then it's just got this really cool like neon printed graphic of like the car, like a car at this diner. And I thought this was so cool. This one is originally from H&M. I think it might be a men's shirt originally. I think I did find it in the men's section. But it is a medium so it fits me really really well and I just thought this would look really really nice tied in the front with some bike shorts and some chunky Nikes. This one was $2 from the nearly new op shop in Glen Innes and yeah I'm just I'm so excited for this. It's nice and floaty. The next top that I have is this one here which I just thought was so super cute. So it's this really nice kind of like florally top here with these really nice pastel colors. It is kind of like puffy sleeved and then it's like ruched on the back. Hopefully you guys can see. I just thought this was super duper cute. I have a top like this from Glassons in like a green so I thought I would just add this into my collection. This one is obviously originally from Glassons and it's in a size 10 so it fits me perfectly and I just thought this was such a cute piece for like spring summer. Two dollars from Habitat for Humanity so 
can't go wrong. Again, that was in Pan Muir. The next top that I have, I've actually been wearing today, and that is this top here. So this is a nice, cute little cropped tee. It is a beige and white stripe. This one is originally from Cotton On in a medium. They did have a few of these in the op shop, and originally I'd picked out a small, but then I saw the medium in it, so I <laughs> swapped it over. And it is just a really, really good classic staple top. And this one was $3 from the Dove Hospice Shop in Glen Innes. And I need more like basic tops. I always buy like colours and like fun prints, but I don't really have a lot of basics. Hopefully I'm in kind of the same position. My battery just died, so I have just changed it over. This last top I have actually been wearing quite a bit as well. And it is, again, another basic. And that is just this really, really nice kind of like off-white creamy long sleeve now it's not quite a turtleneck but it does have quite a high neck and then really really long sleeves and it's not quite ribbed it's just kind of like this this one is originally from dotty in a small but it fits me really really nicely i wasn't sure if it would because i'm not usually a small i'm usually like a medium or like a 10 to 12 from like all of those kind of like Australian branded stores. I really needed some more basic tops and especially long sleeves. Like I don't really have a lot of like nice long sleeves. And this one was $2 from the Habitat for Humanity in Pan Muir as well. And then I think the last, yeah, all of the last clothing items are just like jumpers of some sort or like jackets. This jumper again was from the same op shop. So the Habitat for Humanity in Pan Muir again was only $2. And it is just this really, really nice white long sleeve crew neck jumper. Now this feels so soft on the inside, really, really comfy. And it's just like a nice cropped crew neck jumper. I didn't really have a lot of crew necks, so I really wanted to find some more in the op shop. And when I saw this white one, I thought it was perfect. I like that the sleeve is slightly ribbed. This one is originally from ASOS and it is a UK 12, but I would say it probably fits like a small to medium here in New Zealand. But yeah, it is a really, really nice crew neck. Next up, I'm gonna do a blazer. So I only have one blazer because I feel like I'm pretty set on like my blazers and like longer lightweight coats for the springtime. What I really, really wanted was a white blazer. So I tried a couple on in the op shops. But the one I ended up going for is this really, really nice white blazer here. So it's got like faux pockets on here. But what I really like are the sleeves. So the sleeves are kind of like cinched in. I think you guys can see there. And it's just this really, really nice, simple, classic white blazer. It is slightly cropped as well, which I really, really like. Um, and it just feels quite nice. Like the inside feels really nice and... Like, the sleeves feel really, really nice. This one is originally from Dotty in a size 12, and yeah, it literally fits me, like, perfectly. And I'm really, really excited to, like, start wearing this to work in, like, the spring. This one was $7 from the Dove Hospice in Glen Innes. And then the last few items are all knitwear. I went very, like, basic on the clothing on this front, which was actually really, really great, apart from the little, like, florally piece. That was kind of, like, the only fun piece that I got. Um, and, yeah, I didn't obviously get any pants or skirts. I still am trying to find skirts, midi skirts, but they're surprisingly really, really hard to thrift, so I'm still looking out for those. But next up, I found this really, really gorgeous white cardigan here. Now again, I did try on a couple of like long white cardigans, but this one was my favorite. I've got a beige one in my closet, but I didn't have a pure white one, and I thought a pure white one would be great. It is quite breathable, like the stitching is not like chunky chunky, but it is kind of chunky. It's quite nice. It's really, really long. It's got pockets on the front. It's got long sleeves as well, and yeah, it just fit me really, really nicely. Again, this one is originally from Dotty. It is in an extra small, but it just fit me fine. So I was like, you know what, I'll just grab it. Um, and this one, again, was $7 from the Dove 
hospice in Glenelus. And I feel like this is just such a staple for like the spring and autumn, possibly even the winter if you layered it up. And then the last two knit jumpers are also from the Dove Hospice in Glen Innes and were also only $7. Also have this really nice just classic white knit jumper. It's not a chunky knit, again it's quite like a nice light knit. Again it is long sleeve, it's not cuffed and then the side does have this ever so slight split but it's really nice and lightweight and again I have been loving reaching for this. I've worn this recently so this actually does need a bit of a wash. But I have like a really long kind of creamy white knit jumper but I really wanted something that was just a little bit more fitted, a little bit more like cropped and this one just does that perfectly for me. It's originally from Cotton On. And a size medium. And then the last jumper that I have and the last thing for this entire haul is just this nice lightweight brown knit jumper. Again it is long sleeve, it's not like an overly chunky knit, it's kind of just like a medium knit. Again it is quite cropped and I have worn this to work with like a little pink gingham skirt and I really really liked it. This is originally from Maru in a size small so it's just kind of one of those like cheap brands but yeah I just thought it was such a classic. Um, I've got a khaki green cardi that I found in one of my previous thrift hauls that I would have shown you guys and I reached for it all the time so I wanted another cardi that wasn't green or it wasn't white or it wasn't pink. I've got a lot of pink. So when I saw this I thought it was perfect. I didn't want black. Yeah again for only seven dollars I just thought that was such a good deal. So there we go guys that is everything that I have found in the thrift shops recently. Obviously Phil has been finding some bits and pieces as well, but this is kind of just everything that I have found myself. If you guys enjoyed this thrift haul, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Please make sure to turn on the notifications and check out my social media. It's always linked down below in the description box. If you guys want to watch any more thrifting related content that I have on my channel, I will leave the playlist down below and in the eye for you guys as well because I literally have so many thrifting related videos, so many thrift hauls. I do want to take you guys back out thrifting with me as well. I honestly just love the thrill of it. Like you never really know what you're gonna find. A lot of the time they're either brand new or they're really good quality or they're in really good condition as well. So you can really find some gems you can save a lot of money and obviously it's really great for the environment as well because you're stopping the amount of stuff that goes into landfill. And I honestly would say probably a good like 80% of my wardrobe is thrifting. I've been thrifting since I was 12 and I'm now 24 so that's like a good half my life. And if you guys don't follow me over on Instagram, um, my Instagram is just Little Miss Obsessed. It's linked down below. Make sure you do because I always post on my Instagram on my stories whenever I go thrifting. So my stories sees it first before I make these videos. If you guys would like me to make a video on like my favourite op shops throughout New Zealand, let me know. Let me know in the comments below what is the best thing that you've thrifted recently. Whether it is in store or whether it's on Facebook Marketplace as well. I would love to know. And I shall see you guys in my next video. Bye.